Morning, everybody. What a fantastic morning. Look at the sun is shining. Oh, we're going to try to find it there. Look at it. I got all the stuff out. I worked on that little three-wheeler. That I put up a little, little a tippet of it. But uh, really, I'm getting the parking area ready. I want to move this trailer. Okay, but I owe you, I owe you guys the rest of a video of the belt buckle. Right? Because the belt buckle was, uh, I got to finish that and put the solder on the fittings and things like that. So I realized that I haven't done that. So I'm, I'm going to get on that. There's Jack. Good morning, Jack. And uh, where's Eva? There's Eva. And uh, Tippy. Look at how beautiful the backyard is. The mountains. Look at the duckies. Duckies are in about, leave them. Hi guys. No, T Tippy, leave him alone. Pippy, I should say. I need to be doing that. Oh, the horses are in the back over there. Okay, so I don't got anything for them to eat. And also a little kind of a update uh, on uh, the coyotes. So that was the field over there where the coyotes were. So I'm gonna kind of just zoom in there and we'll talk so about it. All this area here, he's mowed and he's cleaned it up. And so they've been down here quite a bit. And we walked down here too to see if we could see where the den was. We could see it, it's in here somewhere. But uh, in the last two days, they haven't been here. So they've packed up and they've left. Now, I don't know if that really solves anything because there's still gonna be 10 coyotes around here, but oh well. Okay, so then let's get back into the studio. Let's finish off that belt buckle. And uh, like I say, I got to solder on the fitting still and kind of get it all polished up and put the black lettering in there. Now I've already done it. The belt's already out, uh, but uh, we got to finish off that series of videos. Then I have a video, <laughs> excuse me, on um, a video on a hammer textured gold ring that I make from scratch. And I got that all in there. That's going to be up and coming. That'll be another one. And then I got uh, a video up ready to go for the little quad that I was working on. It's not a little quad. I don't want to call it a quad. It's a little kind of a custom hot rod type of three-wheeler thing. So I got that all done. I had to rebuild the carburetor. There's a few things with that. And so we got that one coming up. And uh, and what else? What else? There's a few other little videos that I'm working on. So I'm going to try to upload some videos and kind of make things interesting. And uh, what's this? No, I'm not wearing any. I'm not wearing the flower. Um, just up on my arm. Okay, you guys. I got to finish this off too. Got lots of work. Beautiful day. Pool's nice. Hot tub's great. Hey, you guys. Hey, if you like what I'm doing, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Make a comment. Vicious killers. They're vicious, vicious killers. Okay, into the studio. What are you guys doing? And off they go. Okay. Okay, so... I've got this up to, um, I want to talk a little bit about sanding. Uh, my regular go-to sanding grit is 240. Now it goes on to a four and a half piece. And it's a little holder like this. It's got a, a groove in it. It's got a groove in it, goes into the chuck, goes, it's got a groove in it. And then you wind the paper around it. And that sands everything. And you wear your mask, okay? Masks everywhere. 220 to start. Then 320, and then, oh, 
320, and then 800. So for a piece like this, larger pieces, it really makes a difference when you want to go, when you want to go buff it. Okay, so now, okay, so we, where did we get at the buckle? We kind of, we talked about how we come up with the idea, we CAD, CAM, machining it, casting it. You're going to see that in today's video. I think I'm going to run this video right through. Now, I cast these separately. Now, i tell you why, because I want to polish this back up, ultra polished. And then I'm going to take it, and I've got a little block over here. Let me see if I can adjust this a little bit. Where's the block? Here's the block. And there's another piece to this block, too. There's another side. I know it's here somewhere. Look at that. And there, I know I get a nice uniform squish, a nice uniform buckle. And then, with this back, it's going to be all polished. I'm not going to worry about the front right now. I only want to polish the front once. Got it all sanded and everything like that. And I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, uh, uh, I'm going to bend it first. I'm going to bend it and then I'm going to polish it. Because it's got lots of open room. And then we're going to solder on the fittings. And we're going to kind of move on from there. And I think I'm going to make this all one video. Okay, you guys. Turned out just beautiful. You know what I'm gonna try to do? I'm gonna try to show this uh, squid paint from here. Oh, proper, proper draw plates, right? So you don't ruin things. So get this thing lined up in there. To bend it, it's pretty tough when all the, the fittings are on there, right? I get a nice, nice uniform bend. Look at that. Look at that bend. That's just perfect. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, now I'm gonna, uh, I'll mark it. Well, we got it right here. Let's try this hammer here, right down at the bottom. Make sure it's the bottom. Yep. Sterling. Yep. Sterling. And then we want to go. Uh, that's a dot CA, and that's a bling. 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 Can you see that? Huh. Oh well. I'm gonna polish up this great bling. Sterling bling bling dot ca. It's gonna polish right up. It's gonna be beautiful. Okay, so I got this ultra polish now on the back. Now well, you can't tell. I'm sorry, I missed it. I've got um uh pork acid. And denurtured alcohol on here because I'm going to solder on the fittings. So this is all polished, and I, I did a light polish on the front, and so that's where we're going to be at. So we're going to solder some fittings on. Got another skull starter opsy ring done, and I got red eyes in this one. So uh, this one's available. So let you let me know. Um, the beautiful rings. Okay, what a great afternoon to be back in the shop. We're working on the buckle. We're still working on this buckle. I think we're going to get to the next step where we're going to solder on the fittings. Let's turn that light down a little bit. But I've cast these fittings, right? Because I, I showed you that I wanted to dome the buckle and polish it first in the back. So now, you know, men wear a buckle a certain way, right? Like you do with the shirts. So this has to go like that. So let's uh, get this pin out of the way and those, those out of the way. Let's get this over here. But you know, what I wanted to say was, take the time while you have this piece off 
and uh, all right, there's a foot control here. Use a pumice wheel and clean these spots underneath. It's going to be easy to sand the back of it. The underneath of it, you won't. So sand that a little bit. Clean that thing up nice. Okay, and while you're doing that, a little sandpaper disc now. And the spots where it's going to be on the buckle, you want it to be relative. Set. I cut them off with these cutters to length. And so it leaves a little bit of a, a sharp spot there. So you just clean that up. So now that's like that. Okay. Let's get that over there. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay, you know, you want to line things up so they're, what do I always like to say, perfect? You might look at the buckle for only half an hour, an hour, but the guy who's getting the buckle is going to look at the buckle for, for days, years. Put that on so it's right. Oh, I like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can live with that. So I've got a lot of silver cut. Yeah, we want a number. Number seven tip. Give it another look. Yep. Pick up stick. <laughs> what do we call this? This is a flock. Low clean. Uh, I rinse the brush off in water after I uh, after I finish with it, just so that the flow clean doesn't harden up. The solder doesn't the flux solder doesn't harden up on me. Okay, so let's hot enough right make sure you clean this up too so it sits flat <laughs> grab that on the wood the wood pieces of that okay oh. let's get that I remember <laughs> trying to work with things when they're hot you got to be careful right Get up, make sure. Yeah. Okay, a little bit of uh, solder on there. A little bit of flux, I should say. soldering on the fittings onto the back of a buckle. Now we're going to wait just a few minutes here and we're going to put that 
put that into the pickle. Okay, we let that sit for a little bit. That just needs the final polish and cleaning, and that buckle will be done. Okay, that's how it just came out of the pickle. All right. So I'm just going to give that a nice uh, polish and a buff, and there's enough space for two two widths of belt buckle under there. Oh yeah, coffee. Oh, that's good. Okay, so we got it out of the uh, the pickle, and uh, I give it a little bit of a light buff. Uh, you can see a reflection, so, but we want to use uh, Jack's black, silver black in it. Now, I don't know if I can get this a little bit closer. Okay, that gets it a little bit closer. Okay, I've steamed this thing, so I've got the buckles nice, the buckles nice and hot, okay? So, what we want to do is we just want to use the, uh, uh, look at this, put some in the cap. And look at how, how that just blackens up right away. We want to get behind, we want to get in the letters, we want to get there. And even if you have to do this two or three times, well, you shouldn't have to do it three times. You should maybe if you want to do it twice, but. Okay, the picture. So now I'm gonna polish, I'm gonna <laughs> dunk that in some water, alter sound a little bit, get a steam, get that uh, jack black off there, and then uh, give this a good polish. Now I'm not gonna go through the whole, the whole polishing thing with you, but just give you an idea. You don't want to get a lot of that stuff off there, right? Yeah, that's going to be just great. You know, you know, I don't want much, much more than that. That's a little bit there. Yeah. Okay, okay this is the rouge. Can you see that? Look at this thing. It glows in the dark. It glows in the dark. Okay, so I don't really like this position of the handle of the holder. But anyways, this thing, I'm not going to show a lot of close-up pictures of it or anything like that. Uh, but you you can see the reflection and the, how how polished this is. So this is ready to go. I'm just going to darken the. Uh, I'm going to use some uh, black enamel paint, nail polish. It's just buy some expensive stuff to fill in these letters. These letters are about 0.8 of a millimeter deep, so they take the paint well and it wears, wears for a long time. So uh, have a great day. Reach out to a pal. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Make a comment. Say something. And have a great day. You ain't going to see any more of this buckle. That's going to be it. All right, you guys.